Hi guys, and welcome back to Reads Readers with your host, Clinton Reed. And today I'm going to bring with you my April TBR. At least one of them. I have a secret TBR that will be posted probably a week after this. Which y'all will see whenever it posts. If it posts, you'll understand. But I have five books, or five or six, technically six, books on my TBR. Three are buddy reads. One is a read-along that I'm going to start hosting for myself, if anybody wants to join. And then just a random one on my shelf that I'm kind of interested in. So let's get into it. First one is, I'll be buddy reading with Melody and a bunch of people over on Twitter, is Scammed by Kristen Simmons. I read book one, The Deceivers, last month and gave it five out of five stars. This is basically about a hidden school for con artists and spies. YA thriller. It's just really freaking good. And everybody needs to check out The Deceivers. <clears throat> Next is a buddy read, which I'm doing with the same exact people. And that is Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson, which is my witch book of the month. Which y'all know I tried to do, which I don't think I did one last month. Oh. This is about a girl named Mila Flores, who her best friend and a bunch of other students commit suicide. But she doesn't think she committed so her best friend committed suicide, so she brings them all back from the graves, the zombies, and helps solve what happened to them. That's all I know, and that's all I want to know going into it. It's pretty short, and I cannot wait. And the last buddy read I will be doing in April, I do believe is this one. It's the other one, Emily from Novels. I'll be buddy reading this with Emily from Novels Novels. And that is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer from the Lunar Chronicles. Book one followed Cinder, not really my favorite, which was a Cinderella retelling. This is a... I do believe Red Riding Hood retelling, and I was told I'm probably going to enjoy the series from here on out. It's the only one we own at the house, so hopefully I enjoy it, because if so, I will buy the whole box set when this coronavirus is done and over with. So I can read the rest with Emily. We buddy read Heartless by Marissa Meyer together last year absolutely loved it and both of us want to give all of Marissa Meyer's other books a second chance. Well she gave Heartless a second chance. I'm gonna give Lunar Chronicles a second chance. If I go into this and I can't remember anything about the first one I will reread Cinder and then go straight into this one. Which I might go ahead and read like a couple of the first pages to see if I need to do that. But this follows Scarlet. Uh, this finishes Cinder's story. She's a cyborg, fantasy, dystopian. Everybody knows what Lunar Chronicles is. I don't need to go into detail. <clears throat> the next one I chose because the series has been sitting on my shelf. And I don't know if this video is going up before my thriller TBR or after, but I have never heard anybody talk about this series, and I'm generally curious. That is Conspiracy of Us by Maggie Hall. Let me read the synopsis so you can understand why. 16-year-old <clears throat> Avery West's new found family can shut down Prada when they want to shop in peace and can just as easily start a war. They are part of a secret society known as the Circle of the Twelve and they believe Avery is the key to an ancient prophecy. 
Some want to use her as a pawn. Some want her dead. To unravel the mystery threatening her life, Avery must, must follow a trail of clues. From the monuments of Paris to the back alleys of Istanbul with two boys who work for the circle. Beautiful Viles, Viltel, Stalin, or Stalin, and mysterious magnetic Jack. But both boys are hiding secrets of their own. And when the clues expose stunning new information, Avery realizes the conspiracy could destroy her life. If it doesn't destroy the world first. Well, I've been on this kick of YA thrillers, and this is like the next series that I kind of want to let you go, so why not? And last but not least, these next two books I'm going to finally give a chance. I am now going to be hosting a Sherlock along for the complete series of Sherlock Holmes. I've always wanted to read it in entirety, and I never have. And I'm a huge fan of things inspired by Sherlock, so I want to go back and re and read the actual stories. In April, I shall be reading A Study in Scarlet, the first two, A Study in Scarlet and The Sign of Four. I was told that I need to read a little past that before I give Sherlock a yay or an a but i'm super excited it's also only a hundred and like what is it 40 something pages 41 pages that i need to read out of this but i will say it really tiny font but i'm at least going to give it a try and that's my dears. We grab them all. Are the six books I will be reading in April. And I have a secret TBR that will include three other books that you guys will see. And I'll be vlogging my experience with all that and everything. But no, I am not taking part in the owls because I already planned on doing these and this other secret idea. So I may do the owls in May. Yeah, it depends what we should be moving around then. So who knows. I hope you guys are all staying safe and y'all are all staying home and not getting out in this crazy, wacky time. I'm sending all lots of hugs and kisses and positive vibes to everybody out there in the world. I hope everybody is staying safe. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead. You know you want to know my thoughts on Sherlock. For the Sherlock along. I just like saying Sherlock along. So I'm going to do Sherlock along. That's the whole main reason why I'm doing it. Um, but yeah. Remember kids, reading is what? Fundamental. Until next time. Bye.